Howdy, Mark McKenna, Sandpoint Realty, Wednesday Word, 20, on March 27th, 2023. Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is part two of the real North Idaho housing crisis. And I want to emphasize right off the top, I'm not trying to be critical of realtors. I am trying to protect you from what has naturally evolved. Today we're sitting at roughly 165 pending transactions. Uh, normally this time of year, pre-pandemic, was 300 to 325. And we also have at the present time 700 agents registered. Um, it used to be around 300, 325 pre-pandemic. So what that's saying is we've got half the transactions of what was pre-demic the norm this time of year. And we now have 700 agents, almost double or a little bit more than what we had. That's a huge transition, which is costing you as a consumer trouble that you're not even aware of. And it can be simply adjusted to, eliminated, or yourself protected. So again, let me make it clear, I am not pointing this at agents. Just what has transpired, we have a huge scramble going on right now for business with the agents. This isn't about me as an agent. This is about you as a consumer. It is a simple fix and one that wasn't necessary before, but to protect yourself from what has naturally evolved, you want to get it done. We have the seller representation agreement as seen right here. It's standard to Idaho. You've all seen it. Let's go back here to page five. And right here, you see other terms and conditions. This is real simple. If you have an agreement with your agent, if they're making commitments, if they're making promises, get it in writing to where both parties sign. You're not looking to pin anybody to the wall. You're simply stating an agreement between the two of you that you both agree on so it's in writing. In writing, it brings clarity. It also protects the memory and maybe forgetting what was said or what was promised. So with the promises made or commitment made, I don't care how simple they are, if it's important to you, get it in writing. That can be as, as little as an agent showing up at every showing. If they commit to that, get it in writing. If you want a weekly update, via email. Get it in writing. You both agree on it. This is not to try and pin anybody to the wall. What it does is brings clarity. It will bring clarity to what you have discussed and what you agreed upon. If you don't have it in writing, it becomes a gray area. And if you're a buyer, you want the same thing with your buyer representation agreement. As you can see here, you have other terms and conditions with the buyer agreement as well get everything there in writing. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of room for these other terms and conditions. You're not trying to write a book. You're putting some simple bullet points and there's plenty of room for it, for it to get done. So, thanks for joining me today. Do understand there are a lot of good agents out there. Along with that, there are a lot of promises, a lot of commitments being made that whether intentionally or unintentionally are not being kept. The same with a lot of rules and regulations are being bent and ignored. And again, not always intentionally, but the damage done to a consumer is the same, whether it's intentional or unintentional. Protect yourself, get your points written down, have them on the agreement, which is to take care of both the agent the agency, and yourself as the consumer. Thanks again for joining me today. Next week, Wednesday Word, I'll give you some additional tips to help protect yourself and make the whole transaction smoother for you.